jacked. I'm jacked to the tits! Joey Votto, the interesting, weird, and wonderful side of baseball's oddball hero. New weird rules, weird results, weird predictions. Come to think of it, baseball has offered plenty of weird players and stories over the years. One player that perhaps best captures that weird and eccentric description would be none other than Red's first baseman, Joey Votto. In the best way possible, Votto shows that when being paid to play a kid's game, it is about having fun as much as it is about winning. Even if sometimes, emotions run high. Just a quick scan through his Twitter and Instagram profiles can confirm he is indeed someone who would make a great comedian if he was not employee number 19 of the Cincinnati Reds. With a personality reminiscent of Van Wilder, Votto breakdances, takes improv classes, and even acts as his team's equipment manager. In honor of Votto and his unique personality, we're going to look at some of his strangest moments on and off the diamond. From his hilarious antics during games to his heartfelt gestures towards fans. Get ready for a wild ride through the weird and wonderful world of Joey Votto. Baseball's lovable Peter Pan, Votto's antics in Philly. Philadelphia sports fans have a bad reputation. While we're not going to dive into how or why, Joey Votto sure knows how to troll him. There are two examples we're gonna use, the first being this instance where he fakes like he's going to throw a ball into the stands. The thrill of catching a foul ball only to have it snatched away can be a disheartening experience for fans. But witnessing Vado nonchalantly shrug it off, smirk, and then pump his fist in celebration is precisely the kind of antics that make attending a live game so enjoyable. These antics carried over into another game almost a year later. With a 1-2 count, Michael Franco hit a foul ball that rolled tantalizingly close to a fan near the wall. Sensing the perfect opportunity to troll, Vado sprang into action. As it became apparent that the fan might leave with a souvenir, Vado hurried over to foul territory, grabbed the ball, and tossed it back toward the mound. Perhaps Votto had a lousy cheesesteak in Philly, but one thing's for sure, Joey Votto isn't all about brotherly love when playing in the city of brotherly love. A crazy new segment. One of Votto's craziest ideas was spilled during a mid-game interview in spring training with Jim Day. As he was talking with the Reds broadcaster, he mentions a crazy idea he's had for quite some time. Jim Day? with Jim Day, a play on the commentator's name where the premise is simple. Jim Day takes a Reds player and works out with them doing whatever exercise fans want to see. And the idea for what workouts they do are suggested by Reds fans via Twitter. During the back and forth, Vado says he wants to be the first one, while J.I.M. Day is hesitant because as he says, Man, I don't think I can pull off the tank. To which Vado responds, Is it a nipple thing? You can see both the coach and Day crack up at the comment, and it is another reason why we think Vado's antics make him one of a kind. The Red Surge. Vado showed major love to Canada, as he is Canadian having grown up in the administrative district of Etobicoke, in a segment on intentional talk. With a Canadian Mountie outfit, Chris Rose and Kevin Millar get quite a chuckle at the Reds' first baseman's attire for the duration of the segment. There's nothing bigger or better in Canada than the Red Surge. As Cardinals players trickle out for their warm-ups, Millar and Rose ask if there was anyone who was staring at him due to the choice of clothing. Vado mentioned Johnny Peralta, but added that he wasn't concerned unlike Millar and Rose. He was a professional, Peralta was a professional, and they were not professional. The clip can't be more than three minutes long, but it is easily remembered as one of the best interviews on Intentional Talk. 
In 2021, Vado joined Intentional Talk to revisit the interview and joked about how he ordered the costume off Amazon while in St. Louis and how he didn't realize that impersonating an officer was against the law. As he said, hopefully the statute of limitations expired on that offense. No fly zone. If there's one thing that has been established, it's that Joey Votto does not indulge fans in any way when he's on the road. Case in point, a game against the Dodgers back in May of 2016. It's the bottom of the seventh, and suddenly a paper airplane swoops down onto the field, landing near Votto. Which just the feat of a paper airplane getting onto the field, much less into the field of play, is remarkable in itself. Votto chose not to see it that way. He casually walks over and stomps the paper airplane. We're not talking about just a casual step and scoop it up. It was a violent stomp with plenty of force, surely enough to make a few holes in the wings of said paper airplane. It's the same technique we would use on bugs we want to crush. And Votto left no doubt that he was determined to end this flight for good. With the job done, he casually pockets the remains and saunters back to first base, soaking up the booze like they were Gatorade on a hot day. What adds to this moment is his sly smile. He knew exactly what he was doing, and Adrian Gonzalez could only stare in silence, giving the thumbs down from first base. Since then, no brave soul has dare attempted to land a paper airplane in Votto's vicinity. As for the flying piece of paper Votto pocketed that fateful day, to our knowledge, it has not seen another mission since. Well, except maybe in the trash can after the game. Just goes to show that some people are the wind beneath your wings, and others are stomping on them at first base with a pair of baseball cleats. It may be safe to assume Votto is the latter for opposing teams. Aiming for the roof. To fully appreciate this next moment, let's set the stage. It was a weekday series between the Cubs and the Reds at Wrigley Field. In the first game on Monday, a foul ball from Kyle Schwarber found its way to Votto. He snatched the ball off the ground and began a motion to hurl it skyward. On closer inspection, Votto seemed to be prepping an all-out ballistic missile launch, only to pull a fast one at the last second, opting for a more tender, feather-light toss into the crowd. Fast forward to the second game, bottom of the eighth, Bases loaded and the Reds leading the Cubbies 1 to nothing. The count was 0 1 for Victor Carantini when he smacked a foul ball off the padding down the right field line. The ball ricocheted over to Votto, and this time he didn't hold back. Votto grabbed the ball and launched it skyward like it had a rocket up its ass, eventually landing it on Wrigley Field's roof. Now, it's quite rare for a ball to reach the roof from a hit, but this could be the only case of a ball landing there due to a throw. It's a good thing that in the following two games, foul balls steered clear of Vado, or else he might have been tempted to hurl one straight out of Wrigley Field and into the stratosphere. Vado gets TikTok famous. For anyone who is not on TikTok, first off, we get it. Second off, there is probably the funniest video of Joey Votto to ever exist on that platform. While it is not a gut-busting, laugh-inducing clip, this is showing Votto in a light that we as baseball fans have never seen him. In this one-minute clip, Votto is dancing with three other people in a hilarious voiceover of D Billion's kid song, My Name Is which is something we could have never pegged the star first baseman to ever do, ever. As he takes the role of the Chicky in this song, My name is Chicky. he Chickies as the other three Cha-Cha, Boom Boom, and Lala come in later. It's not something we'd expect from him, but that is what makes this so quirky, the surprise of him doing it. The gem can be found on TikTok in its entirety. Just a Google search will pull it up, and you be the judge of the clip. The legend of Cozart's donkey. 
Remember when Zach Kozart was a force to be reckoned with? Yeah, it's a distant memory for us too. Alas, in 2017, Reds shortstop Zach Kozart entered the month of June with a 345 batting average and was considered one of the top defensive players up to that point. In a spirited effort to campaign for his teammate's all-star nod, Votto pledged that if Kozart made the cut, he'd gift him a donkey. Quite the get-out-the-vote campaign. Kozart embraced it and was even seen rocking a Life is Better with a Donkey shirt in an MLB Network interview, but it gets better. Joey Votto, dressed in a donkey costume, comes out, crashes the interview, and sports a Vote Kozart sign. Guess what, though? It's only weird if it doesn't work, as Kozart made the All-Star team and became the proud owner of Amos the Donkey. He never made another All-Star appearance, though, leaving us all wondering if a livestock surprise from Votto made the difference. But hey, better to have peaked with Amos than to have never peaked at all. Millions of peaked in high school baseball fans would surely agree. And that concludes our rundown of Joey Votto's most hilarious, weird, and memorable moments. Let us know in the comments what your favorite moment was, or if we missed any. Does Votto embrace dancing to the point where he starts a second career as a dancer on TikTok? Do you think comedy is something Votto could do in the future? Let us know your thoughts and predictions in the comments below, and as always, stay tuned for more quirky and entertaining moments from the world of baseball.